This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2444, Changing Your Story About Anxiety, by Shana Olmstead of shanaolmstead.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your personal narrator, reading to you every single day of the year with permission from the authors. Kind of like an audiobook, but kind of not. It's a lot shorter than an audiobook. And I bring you one article every day of the year to bring a little boost of happiness to your day. And this is one of a few shows where we do that. Search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this to find all of our shows. Now with that, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Changing Your Story About Anxiety by Shana Olmstead of shanaolmstead.com. Many of my clients come to me for symptoms of anxiety. They complain of not being able to stop their worried thoughts or the tension in their bodies or aren't able to just feel comfortable and at peace in their own skin. Seems like it's becoming more and more common and people are becoming more comfortable talking about it than ever before. It's beautiful that the stigma of mental illness in general, including anxiety, is changing. People more than ever are getting the help they need and even talking about it with their friends and families more than in the past. I think that this culture shift from keeping mental struggles hidden and secret to now being much more open is definitely a positive thing. I also believe that if we get too attached to our perceived diagnosis, whatever it is, it makes it more difficult to evolve and transform out of it and into more alignment with our true selves. Sometimes people get so caught up in discussing being anxious with many people in their lives that it ends up keeping them stuck in the anxiety. They end up complaining about it and repeating the story they have about themselves of being anxious so often internally and externally that there is no room to shift it. With most of my clients that present with anxiety, most of the time, I believe a big part of my job is to help them let go of the attachment they have had to anxiety, to assist them in believing a new story about themselves and their thoughts, to help them not identify as strongly with the word anxiety. I know there are different ways of looking at this. I know that some people believe that anxiety is a permanent condition, that we can learn to manage it, but it is never fully cured, that life is hard and anxiety is inevitable. Many of the clients that I work with that come to me for anxiety report later that instead of just fixing this issue, they've actually transformed their whole way of being. A natural outcome of this transformation is the reduction of anxiety and the increase of more peace. This process involves much more than simply focusing on the symptoms of anxiety itself. Anxiety is generally a symptom of being out of alignment with your higher self. It is a result of unexpressed emotions, conversations that need to be had, and time that is not being spent in quiet communion with your soul. So when people start working on their anxiety with me, there are many components to a holistic treatment plan that is unique to each person. The general process remains the same, but because everyone is so beautifully different, It is always fun and energizing to practice. Using intuition, awareness of energy, and psycho-spiritual practices are some of the most effective methods I have found to help people elevate their consciousness. It is from this elevated consciousness that they are more able to observe their anxiety and make different choices to come back to peace. This is the way I work with my clients, and it takes time to do the inner work required to permanently shift the way anxiety plays a role in our lives. There are many ways to approach this, but I do believe a big part of the transformation is changing the story of yourself as an anxious person. Wherever our consciousness is, that is what we are bringing into our lives. If we continue talking about how anxious we are and saying that's just the way we are, it just can't change. If you wanna feel less anxious, it is essential to start bringing in a different story of who you are. What if you're getting better and better every day? What if there's nothing to fear? I'm not saying to not get support when you need it. Of course, we all need to be able to talk about hard things with our support people sometimes. I'm just saying to start paying attention to how much you talk about it, with who, and if it is helping or draining your energy. It starts with yourself, starting to pay attention to the way you approach your own anxiety internally. The most effective way to move through anxiety is to notice and observe it without judgment, to gently validate it and nurture yourself if needed, and then to simply move on. 
Make yourself a cup of tea, watch a funny cat video, and tell yourself everything really is going to be just fine. Don't stay stuck there in negative thought spirals or judging yourself or feeling anxious again. No more complaining to people about how your anxiety is not getting better. These things, even though they may be your current pattern, aren't going to help you release your anxiety in the long term. In order to create more peace and decrease anxiety, it is imperative to begin practicing new ways of thinking about it on purpose before it actually changes. I know this doesn't really make sense to our rational brains, but we must begin by changing the energy about it. We must begin telling ourselves things like, I'm not really an anxious person anymore, and there's nothing to worry about, and what if things work out for the best for me? I'll continue to discuss ways to cope with anxiety and release it in different ways in the future. I in no way intend to invalidate the experience of living with anxiety. I know how hard and scary it can be. My intent is to begin to create awareness of the power of consciousness. Energy flows where our attention goes. If we don't begin changing the story about anxiety on purpose, we will continue to manifest anxiety in our lives. You just listened to the post titled Changing Your Story About Anxiety by Shana Olmstead of shanaolmstead.com. Thank you to Shana. Really good point about how when we think about anxiety, talk about it more, and complain to others about it, it sort of reinforces it within us, like confirmation that it's who we are rather than something that could be worked through and lessened over time. After all, that kind of focus on it sort of becomes an obsession, and it's like we're worrying about being worried, which is a vicious cycle of anxiety. And while it might feel nice in the moment to share our feelings with someone else and openly talk about it, it could possibly have the opposite effect. As she said, if we continue talking about how anxious we are and saying that's just the way we are, we can't change. It's something to watch out for. And she also did mention that this doesn't mean you shouldn't seek help because psychologists or psychiatrists or therapists, they've done a lot of training and have experience with so many people with similar concerns that a licensed professional could help you make huge strides without that sort of obsession, something they're aware of and can mitigate. So that's usually the first thing I'd suggest. If possible, talk to a licensed professional, even if just one time to get some feedback, and then go from there. So with that, hope you have a happy and worry-free day. Thank you for being here and listening every day, and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.